Hello, Rono. Here we are back with uh, video number two. Um, this is your uh, your drills video. These are the videos. Uh, these are the drills we'd like you to do, um, so that you can begin to teach yourself what it feels like to move your body into position. Okay, your job is to figure out what to move, where to move, and then for speed, when to move it into those positions. Okay, and first we need to just kind of figure out where the body should be. So we have some drills um, that we'd like you to do. Okay. Okay. Now, this first one we'd like you to do is a high knee skip. Okay, you can see, you can see how high uh, this athlete's knee is. Okay, he didn't even feel it was that high. Okay, but look how easy he is. Look at his chest is in an up position. Okay, look how high that knee goes. So you begin to work on the range of motion. Wait, make sure you stretch out before you do this. Make sure you warm up real good. Make sure you jog a, jog a couple of laps. And on your first high knee skip, don't come up that high. Only come up about this high. Right now, when you run, your knee is down here. Okay, so we wanted to start to slowly get you up to into this position. Okay, and try not to jump. Don't jump high. Okay, notice he's not really off the ground much. Okay, what he's working on. Oh, here's a good way to explain it. So when you do high knee skips, we'd like you to do it about, bring your knee about right there. And then the next week as you get better, bring your knee a little higher. Then as you get really good and controlled, bring your knee super high. See his chest is still in the same position, trying to stay relaxed. Chest is up, head is up. Okay, arms are barely moving. Okay, let's move this in real time here so you can kind of see what it looks like we can keep them in the frame. Okay, so this is high knee skips. You do this uh, about five times at about 10 yards. Keep your speed going forward. Keep that slow. Do not take up like jump for four or five yards at a time. Okay, you're just going to skip forward about, oh, like if you had a speed ladder, about 18 inches, maybe 20 inches or so. Okay, stay nice and calm. Be patient. Do you have patience? to let your knee get up into these positions. Okay, and again for you, working on staying nice and tall, keeping the chest out in front of you versus a bent over kind of run. Okay. Okay, that's high knee skips. Okay, this drill over here, this is called short hop. And what you're gonna do is just like jumping rope. Heels never touch the ground, and all you're gonna do is bounce, trying to keep the legs straight and just get used to bouncing off the ground, just a nice tap. If you start to work hard doing this drill, no good, you must abort the mission. Okay, the idea is not to work hard, we're just figuring out where to move and then we're figuring out the bounce. Okay, so this is the bouncing part, just like jumping rope. Okay, and to be clever, I don't call it jumping rope, I call it short hops, because you're kind of jumping short in the front and short in height, you're not jumping really, really high. And yes, this athlete, by the way, was a soccer player, and he became really fast. He used to be a goalie, and he became really fast. They started using him everywhere on the field, just because he could do anything. Okay, so these are short hops. Okay, now, this one's kind of complicated, but kind of fun to try. The first part is an ankle flip. Okay, the athlete down here, he's going to do, on the bottom left, he's going to do an ankle flip. Just bounce, keep the leg straight. He's going to go right into a half high knee running action. So half high knee, so he keeps the bounce, keeps the chest up, and then accelerates forward. Okay, right into a build-up sprint. And this build-up sprint is only done at about 75 to 85% speed. Do not go 100% speed. Okay, you're working on other things. You're working on bouncing, you're working on keeping the chest up, and you're working on synchronizing the arms and legs. And what that means, again, is when the arms are in a certain position, that knee should be at a certain height. Okay, I call it about a full height position. Okay, so you can see him bouncing here, down here on the left. Okay, now, this athlete right here, this is young Abe. Well, he was young at the time. Okay, he was seven years old at the time, playing football. Actually, you might remember him. Uh, I think he was from your league, uh, Abe Flores. Uh, Coach Flores' uh, son. And young Abe, I'll just run this along here. Young Abe, after he got fast, he ended up scoring that season. He scored about 18 touchdowns. Actually, it wasn't about. That's what he said. 18 touchdowns. Nobody could touch him. Okay? But you look at him run. It's pretty miraculous. Okay? Standing nice and straight up. Okay? Arms are moving. Body has minimal twist. Balls of his feet bouncing. 
Okay, look at that form right there. That's crazy for seven years old. No wonder nobody could touch him. Okay, runs nice and easy. Okay, we want you to run like that. So you're just going to stand up, run, move your arms in that position. Now, if you notice, his arms, his hands, they go straight down. Okay, and that is the idea. You want to get him to come straight down right through your hip. Okay, now these are some pros here. So, uh, so we'll take a look at this. We'll have him go backwards first. Okay, so this is slow motion. But look at their chest. Chest is up. Head is up. Face is relaxed. Yeah, one guy wins. One guy takes second, third, fourth, whatever. But look at the forms. They're all approximately the same. Okay, everybody has variations. Okay, but if you look at the position here, the guy in second place, look, his back foot is straight. You can hardly see it. But look at the foot right up under. Okay, the elbow's in this position, and that's where his foot is. Okay, look at the guy in first place. Look at that leg right there. Okay, back leg is straight. Look where the knee is. Knee is here. Look where the foot is. Right up under. Right there. Look at the arms. Arms are in that position. The elbows, I should say. And at that time, the elbows are there. That knee, lower leg should be in that position. Okay. So the cool thing about you, Ronald, is you're not far off. Okay. Pretty close. And you can see them bouncing right here. Okay. You can see them bouncing off the balls of their feet. Now, they're running at speeds that are faster than me and you put together. However, the human body still does the same thing. We just don't know how how fast you're going to end up being, and we also don't know how quickly you're going to learn it, but eventually you will get it down. Okay, so that is your video analysis. Love for you to try those drills and then and then give me a call or send me another video in. Send me another video in of you doing these drills and then we'll uh we'll do video coaching. Um I do that all over the country. It's really, really cool and really fun for me because when you send a video back we get to see what you have done okay my friend we will see you or talk with you very soon okay take care later